So I joined GIS in 1977. I joined GIS in the year 1989. I joined GIS in 2016. I joined GIS in the year of 2008. I personally have always looked forward to going to school because it was such a wholesome and nurturing environment. And I feel I've become a very well-rounded person because of that. Although GIS is a highly academic school, it doesn't just celebrate those who are book smart. Everyone had the opportunity to find something that they're good at. Everyone, I believe, found their little circle and everyone felt like they belonged, which I think is so important in a young person's life. And that's why I wanted to send my children to GIS to have the same opportunities and education that, that I had. I've been in GIS since nursery school and I just finished my A-levels here. I'll be moving on to university in September soon. And although I'm really excited to start my new chapter of life, I'm also quite sad to be closing the one at GIS. I've been lucky enough to make some lifelong friends at GIS of all different nationalities, ambitions and interests. And as an alumni now, it is especially comforting to know that in the future, there's always somebody that I can call and some friend in the corner of the world that I can rely on. And I believe that GIS encourages a healthy mentality of academic excellence and well-being and throughout my time here, I've been surrounded by inspiring teachers and students that really push you to be the best that you can be. So I am a product of GIS myself. Essentially, it's around being independent. Uh, there's the ability to bring people together. It was the best time ever. So I, uh, I would like to commend and applaud my parents for putting me and my younger sibling here. Naturally, when it came to my children, it was a no-brainer. The learnings that I had derived, I am absolutely pleased to see those same learnings being looked at now from a Sohil's point of view. I would say, in a single word, exposure. It's not only exposure to meeting different people and understanding their perspectives and where essentially they're coming from, which, especially when you go into university, you need the same environment times 10. It also is an exposure of ideas. Being able to act as an environment and a safe and open environment where you can share your ideas and discuss these ideas. There's only trying to understand, to learn, and to possibly even incorporate other people's ideas into your own.